Okay, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It got below freezing last night. So my truck's windows are frozen. Yeah, it's starting to work. Um, Jimmy is still asleep. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's still still working a little bit. That's beautiful. Okay, so it's nine o'clock in the morning, and a new cache published. But Jimmy's still asleep, so I'm gonna go find it, get some travel bugs, and later today, me and Jimmy are gonna drive all the way to Oregon. Here I am at the spot next to the Reading Municipal Airport, not Benton Field. So it's just a little bit uh, of a bigger airport. There's frost on the ground. Okay. Somewhere around here. There it is in the plant. Okay, I'll get it. Those are the things I got. I was actually third to find. And somebody else had found it this morning as well. So, that's cool. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to Jimmy's and then hopefully get him awake and then we'll start heading up there. After I get some breakfast and new batteries. I want to show you something pretty cool. Hey Jimmy, look how far this thing's been. 15,000 miles. This is gone. I found ones that have gone farther. I know, but I'm just showing people. So these, these set of keys have been all over Europe. And somebody, I don't know why, brought it way over here where it's not supposed to be at all. But we can't bring it back there because that's not where we're going. Actually, they probably brought it there just to bump up the miles. Yeah, but its goal is to go to all the members of the European Union. I, I would, if I had a trackable whose goal was to travel around America, I wouldn't mind if they took it to uh, Africa or Europe or all around the world. That would be pretty cool. Going to Oregon. Prius! Not that easy. Okay, we're heading north on I-5. We're a little ways out of Redding. We're at a uh, Chevron here. And look, no hands. It still has the latch. Nice. So we found one cache already, and we'll just keep finding them all the way up to Oregon. It'll be fun. Lake Shasta. Just driving over it, going into the mountains. So we're here at the rest stop in the mountains. There's a cache here, so we stopped to find it. And then as there was a sign it said, next rest, 60 miles. So it's kind of a long ways. Uh, we're 97 feet away, going up this way. 76 feet. I bet you it's not in there. 12. over here. Yay! Found it. That's a pretty big one. Cool. Lots of stuff. Are there trackables in here? Um, I don't think so. This looks kind of cool. Well, not really. As we were walking back up the hill, we found this. The CD. Now that's what I call music 27. And uh, we're gonna 
listen to the entire thing. No, I don't. Without want skipping to. tracks. Yes, we're going to do it. Aww. I will reluctantly put this into the CD player. It might not work because it's scratched. Let's put it in. Oh, there's already a CD in there. Okay. So we're at another cache, a little further north. Um, and this CD kept skipping, so we're gonna throw it away. No, oh, Jimmy! We need to put it in the cache. Oh yeah. It's a trade item. Oh, I know where it is. Yeah, yeah. so this one's a regular size called Fireman Nick. It's up this trail a little ways. I should get my uh, backpack. Ah, whatever. Go back. Thirty-five feet. It's over here. I think. There it is. Found it. Right there. Close to the freeway. Injury. I didn't even notice it. We have drawn blood. And we're only about 40 miles away. Ah! Ah! Actually, it doesn't hurt at all. Going to another one. This is how all these videos start. It's more interesting for me, I think, than it is for you. Right, Jimmy? It'd be, it's more interesting for me to go geocaching than it is for people to watch me. Because it's going to be just so repetitive. Yeah, stop. Because I, Get you know... Stop. I, Get a cache. Yeah, but on the video, it just... It keeps starting. We're looking for another one. Found it, and then it goes to the next clip. We're looking for another one. You see a lot of geocaching in your videos. Yeah, I do. That's what I do, though. Yeah, it's your hobby. My hobby, so it shows up in the vlog. Look at this place. Oh, these trees. It's cool. I'm arriving. There was like a tree port right there. There's Puddles. Uh, th nine. It's right here. Right? Somewhere over here, maybe? It was off? Yeah. So I just need to look for a logical place. Yeah. Like over here, it looks like something. Oh well. I'll look around. It was in that hole. Mm -hmm. A little tiny log. And there's Lake Shasta, over there. Let's go look at Lake Shasta, look at some of the scenery. There's trees in the way. I don't know how far from Oregon we are. We keep stopping, which slows our progress. But, you know, that's okay. We're having fun, right? Right. Yes. We're on stage. And We're... you are the audience. Oh. I meant the viewers are the Oh, the viewers. Hold on, let's give them a good seat. That's the first couple words from The Two Gentlemen of Verona by Shakespeare. This is a cool place. This is the gold mine. What's it called? The Lost Lemurian Gold Mine. And it's there. And there's a cache right around here somewhere. This place is actually pretty cool. The legend lives. And people just seem to leave stuff, like there's shovels, there's parts of things, whatever. There it is. <clears throat> Lanterns, gnomes, flags, old metal stuff. 
I don't know if you can see in there, but there's like a little tiny door to the gold mine. Just random stuff. It's a window back there. Little desk. Drinking fountain, a birdhouse, a pond. And then there's a rat that's hanging in another birdhouse. A sign, what does it say? If you're caught fishing, don't bother wishing. Check out this. There's a deep puddle right here. I made it without any problem. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be like, uh, he was gonna get stuck or something, so that's why I was recording. Now he's just driving off ahead of me without, okay. Okay, he made it without a problem. And that was awesome. No, that was no problem at all. We are out here now after a mile of big rock roads. You can see my tires have mud on them. But now we have to walk to the master builder. Wait a minute. My GPS is all weird. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we're going now. We are now recording underneath I-5. This place is kind of interesting. It's a, uh, it's not an official exit. You just kind of pull off the side of the freeway and then there's this gravel road. And then we just kind of drove down the gravel road. Got as close as we could. I guess we could have driven down here, but whatever. So this bridge used to be part of old Highway 99, like a long time ago. Kind of cool. And there's this thing. I'm gonna try to throw this rock really far off this bridge. Cool. Oh, one way over there. We keep saying we're gonna leave, and then we keep finding things to drop into the river. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's get the stick. Okay. Going down the White Rapids. There it is. Whee! Okay, let's go for real now. I, I feel like I'm going to find some big rock that I'm going to want to throw off the uh, side of the bridge. Yeah, those huge ones, but... but... Yeah, let's just like, like, both carry a giant rock. Like this. Like this one right here? How about this one? Ugh. How about this one? Oh, wow! Ugh. <laughs> oh, dang. This is heavy. It's probably like 60, 70 pounds, huh? Yeah. Or maybe more. Probably more. <laughs> ah. It's probably really dumb. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh. Ah. All right, <laughs> here. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> It was like, boom! <laughs> See, that's why we're not leaving. It's, it's so just too much fun. But we have to make it to Oregon before the sun goes down. What's the worst going to happen if uh, the sun comes down? It gets cold. We're, we're traveling north, so it's going to be colder because of that. And when the sun goes down, it's going to get really cold. I feel like pushing another rock down. Mount Shasta, right there. We have arrived in Dunsmuir. Still about 60 miles to Oregon. You can tell we're heading north because there's snow. We are at the pizza factory in Dunsmuir. There's his game room, pinball, Jimmy, 
Extreme Hunt. Uh, area Site 4. Faster than speed. Metal Slug 4. Air Hockey. What do you think of this place, Jerry? She looks scary. Look at her. Ah, we haven't even had our pizza yet. They're making it right now. Yeah. We should play an arcade game. We shall review this pizza. It looks good. Let's try some. It's going to be really hot, I think. It's like just out. Not that hot. No. It's good. What would you rate it? I don't know. I don't, I don't have any uh, other pizzas to compare it to, but I like it. It's like a eight, seven, eight, something like that. Out of how many? Ten. Oh, okay. But like you know, a ten would be like the perfect pizza. Going to the Dunsmuir rest area. It is a graveyard. Clever play on words. Clever. So. And look, snow. I was not prepared for this. There's Jimmy. Okay. We'll find this and then we'll continue. Continue north. Check out the steepness of that mountain. I think it's called Black Butte. Black Butte. It's kind of like Black Butt. But with an E at the end. 6,000 feet high. But it's really steep and it's shaped like a cone. I think that's that's what they call a butte. Well, uh, we're going away from it now. Oh, wait, there's like a truck. Oh, trucks. Look at all those colors. It's like every truck is a different color. That's why it's called Truck Village. So oh, is there a cash truck here? Village. Yeah, there is. Why would I stop if there wasn't one? Because maybe you need to take a leak. I just did it, Dunsmuir. Yeah, uh, well, we're going to go over and find another cash. I know, usually Mike does this kind of thing, but uh, I decided to do it this time, uh, which uh, he turns the camera towards himself. So uh, I'm imitating Mike. So just pretend I'm Mike right now. Just saying that we're going to get a cash. We're like 51 feet away. There's Mike. I mean, there's Jimmy. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to find a cash. Huh? It's probably right there. Down there under the rock. You see it? No. Maybe it's between the sign. Like in there, maybe? No. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough. It's starting to get dark. The sun went down a little while ago. Uh, we decided to start actually driving more than stopping for caches, um, but we decided to get this one. We are now in Wairika. I think that's how you say that. Wairika, California, and. Um, yeah, we got about 30 more miles to go to get to Oregon. So that'll be cool. There were no trackables here, but I don't know. Yep, snow is everywhere still. It's getting colder. It's 32 degrees right now. Freezing, literally. And uh, yeah, so 30 more miles to get into Oregon. Two trackables, their goal is to go to Oregon. And uh, so yeah, and then we come back. See where the map becomes less detailed? That's the border to Oregon. So I forgot to put the Oregon maps on. Oops. So yeah, there's a, there's a cache right at the border. We're gonna get that one later because it's on the way back. But we're gonna get another one. And uh, we're like right there. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in on the GPS on the map. Yeah. Wait, Oregon, right there. Right there. Oh, Oregon! Welcome to Oregon. 
welcome to. We are yes. in Oregon. We are in Oregon now. I know it's it's cool. There's no more sales tax. Yay! Yay, we should just stay here forever. Well, for the night. Maybe. I don't know. Because I want to find go. more caches on the way back. Like during the day, but it's not cool. And we Oh uh, yeah. But what will we do? Just watch TV and rest. Then we can get an earlier start. Go to sleep early. Wake up earlier and then come back. It's boring though. Well, it'll be more fun than just driving for hours. But we can listen to music on the way home. We can listen to music in the room. Uh, okay, where's the exit joint? The exit? Yeah, you're navigating. Oh crap, I think we passed it. Oh no. Our first cache. El Tabo. Let's find it. It's hard to hold my flashlight and the camera at the same time. There we go. That's good. Huh. There. Now I can move my camera and the light stays in the same place. Found it. That was fast. Cool. Got it. Mark is found. Log attempt. Found. Done. Cool. Stop recording. Okay. Second cache in Oregon we're going for. The hardest cache known to man. Ashland. So, eh, good luck to us. Uh, the hardest cash known to man in Ashland. Left or right, Jimmy? Uh, tr straight. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Straight, then. It'll be your number 500. It'll be my number five. Like, uh, the hardest cash known to man in Ashland will be my number 500. If we find my it. 500th find. Left or right? It says I could, you could go straight, but there's no way you could go straight. Hardest cash known to man. In Ashland. What? In Ashland, yes. Not the hardest ever. Just the hardest one in Ashland. There it is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so you just walk up to it. Oh, there it is. Found it. Easy find. That'd be cool. 110 feet away. Hold on. Sorry, this is going to be dark. Uh, I'll stop for now. We found it pretty easily. It was in a rock. It 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 was a bison tube inside of a rock. Yeah, it's, it wasn't that hard. No. It wasn't the hardest cache I've ever found. I actually found one that was like hidden in there like a pine cone. That was harder to find. <laughs> ah! I need to do something now. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't do, do a fake tantrum right now. It's too funny. You forgot to say there's nothing to do in Oregon. There's nothing to do in Oregon. Okay, this is the last one of the night. It's the furthest north cache I have, so this will be my new northernmost cache, and also probably furthest distance from home. Yeah, it'll definitely be the furthest distance. So, we're trading trackables. Because I had one that wants to visit all 50 states and it hasn't been to Oregon yet, but now it has. And Jimmy's says, Come on, light, go to Oregon. And now it's in Oregon, so we accomplished two goals for trackables and we are retrieving one. It is so cold. So, we decided to actually stay here in Ashland tonight and so the video won't be up till tomorrow night probably when you see this but oh well we're gonna find caches all day tomorrow too coming back to Reading so car hurry up Jimmy cars coming hurry up it got too late. We're not going to go back to Reading tonight. We want to find more caches. 
tomorrow. So we're just going to stay in this place and then leave tomorrow morning and then um, find more and be back to Reading tomorrow. So I will see you later. Good night. You said you killed me? What? Who did uh, why you kill? why is he talking? Why is he talking? Okay, he's taken care of. Good night.